Hi friends, welcome back to our tutorials. This is Bootstrap 5 full tutorial series and in today's episode, it's going to be really exciting since we'll start designing our grids and the layouts in this particular episode. This is the first hands-on episode of this particular series. Very excited. We'll do a lot of creative work today. Welcome back. This is part four of the Bootstrap 5 full tutorial series. And if you have missed out on the previous episodes, make sure you check it out. The playlist link is in the description box below. I have planned around 40 tutorials for you and which includes a lot of hands-on examples and live tutorials. I'm sure you're going to enjoy this creative journey. This is part four of uh, the Bootstrap 5 tutorial series. Today we are learning designing how to design grid layouts. Just a quick re recap for our friends who are joining us new on this episode. So we in the previous episode, we have learned about the basics of the Bootstrap grid. We have learned that the Bootstrap grid allows up to 12 columns in a particular row. So bootstrap grid is made up of rows and columns and each in any given row, we can have up to 12 columns, right? Spanning each one width imagining. So it could be div it's divided on in 12 columns. The 12 columns can be divided between equally, right? Or it can be designed however you want the layout. For example, span four, span four, span four. That means they're occupying width four, 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 which adds up to 12. Here we have seen that it's add up to 12, which is eight plus four. Here it is two column layout, six plus six, right? So these are the different uh, combinations we are going to see now in today's episode. That's where it will be much, much clearer to you. Also Bootstrap 5 grid allows us to design for various screen resolutions. That's also we covered in last episode. So it supports extra small, small, medium, large, Excel and XXL, right? So there are different, uh, these are some of the screen resolutions like extra small and small are for mobile devices, uh, medium, right? Excess can also be for a watch or you know, other devices which are smaller in size, uh, small for uh, phones, medium and could be for iPad, large can be for desktops and so on, right? So we can customize our experience of our application responsiveness for each screen resolution specific to a device. So that's what we are going to explore in the next episode. Today's episode is about focusing about designing the layouts using bootstrap grids and containers, right? So here we are going to implement a simple container, container with header, footer with column, two column, three column layout, right? So we are going to do multiple combinations on how to use this. Let's get started. So first thing what we'll do, I have an empty folder here. Uh, this is just a TXT file, so there's nothing fancy. So create a file in your full local folder anywhere. Call it index.html, right? Blank, it's an initially blank one. So what I would say is let's open uh, the bootstrap docs, right? And go to docs, right? In the very home page itself, you have something called starter template, right? So this is nothing but this empty shell, right? So here you see it's there is nothing. It's just doc type, HTML, body, head, and tag with the links to the CDN, right? CDN is nothing but content delivery network, which is nothing but link to bootstrap CSS and JS files, right? So it's basically a shell, just an empty shell. Copy that. And once you have copied, go to your code, paste it as it is. Okay. Don't even hesitate. Don't even change anything. Just copy and paste it, right? And then go to your browser and just refresh. So you should see hello world. That means there is nothing except for hello world in the screen, right? Very, very simple diagram. So let's start with now customizing this particular layout, right? So in the previous episode, we have also learned the most important tag that Bootstrap considers is container, right? Or container fluid. Container fluid means it is 100% width design. Container means it's a fixed design. I'll show you both how it will work, right? And then what we are going to do is we are going to throw in a simple three DIVs. I'm going to call it header. Then I'm going to call it DIV class equal to uh, content. And then I'm going to inside the content, I'm going to create a row. You see, and then I'm going to create two divisions and I'm going to call it sidebar and I'm going to assign this uh, value like I'll say I want call three that means three column width and I'll call this left sidebar 
then here I'm going to call one more class say call 9 because I have to add this uh, add this up to 12 9 plus 3 is 12 that is what is this row and here I'm going to call it main contact that's it so this is our site layout and this is our header right so this I'll say header section of website right and similarly let's throw in one more something similar to header and we will call this footer right so see now we have a container fluid we have the header we have the main content we have the footer let's go refresh this right nothing fancy so far nothing great right so let's now start adding some details here so what i'm going to do i'm going to create one more file see i have not yet applied the css classes of bootstrap i've just used the layout class right bootstrap and the grid class no design classes yet that i will use it later first i want to show you the vanilla application of how you can customize it right so let's link and say relevant equal to style sheet href equal to dot slash styles and there you are right so we have imported the styles see here now let's start putting some background colors background color here now you can give any color you want right so let's say this is just for your knowledge i'm just putting things just to show you how layouts are done usually you will use some standard colors to make it look good these colors i'm giving all random colors just to because i want you to know um, how to design that okay you can either use names either you can use hex you can use rgb right now let's go refresh so you see the blue color is for the header left sidebar right sidebar footer section right so for footer section what i'm going to do for now let's give red color doesn't matter right the idea is to know how to design a grid layout like this right that's what we learned in the previous episode now let's style this up a little bit I'm going to give height. These are all utility classes which are already available in Bootstrap. I am not covering it. <laughs> the reason being, if I directly tell you that, you will become used to it. You will not know the basics, right? So that's why I am doing it everything here. Now you see, now look, the site starts showing up like a, exactly like a website that you want, right? And now I'm going to say, instead of this background color here, I'm going to put it to the body. So it's a beautiful thing to play with colors and all, right? I'm sure you, you will enjoy this if you're learning it for, for the first time. Now, main content, I'm saying background color should be white, right? So see, now minimum height, again, I'm declaring, right? Now see, so we have got our layout where we have a beautiful layout, which is left sidebar, main content, footer, right? All I have done here is just use the container class. Let's go through that. See, I have a container fluid class. Now I'm going to remove the fluid. That means it will become fixed. It will not be 100%. See, now it's shrinked and it is in the center, right? That is because I have removed the con container fluid, right? See here, right? Now I add, it will occupy this side also. It will make it 100%, right? So this is how uh, the outer layouts are done, right? It can be done with much better colors. Yes, let's go find some beautiful colors. Theme colors, I told you, we can find anything. And these are all the beautiful color palettes that we can use, right? So let's pick any one and you can take any, uh, you can you can select the name you can select the details but you can also use the names of it right so i can just instead of colors now i'm going to remove the color and i'm going to remove the colors here see what i'm going to do now right so i've removed the colors instead what i will do is i will just say for the header i need bg success which means now it will be green color right automatically 
you see here and for the footer section I want BG light that means lightish gray color thing right or I can even say warning whatever color you want basically right so uh, that's up to you to how you want your layout but the idea here we are seeing that it's shaping up like a website right now the requirement comes that the client comes and says no I want three column layout this is two column left and main content I want three column layout so what you'll do you'll take this copy paste now again add up this addition to make it three column so here I will again mention this is a sidebar so now I have a three column layout right this is left this is main content and this is right content right so now I have a three column layout now your client again comes and says no I want one more go ahead add it right now again adjust the width so now you have three 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 right so you have four equal columns right now you can give any class name to any uh, this thing that doesn't matter right so see now you have four equal columns on the page right and you want to put a border you can do that 1px solid right so you see there is border now for each of the sections so this is now four column grid right and then if you want you can customize the look right so here I'm going to remove and have only three column for now so you get an idea that okay so now I have three column and this I'm going to make it back to sidebar and sidebar right so you see we have designed two column three column now this is three column we have designed four column the idea is you can design anything if you look at this bootstrap this is three column layout left sidebar main content and right sidebar right so if you want to achieve something like that make this two make this two save it make this eight so this is exactly what is the layout that's used by bootstrap right so see and if you want we can customize the host overflow of in terms of the um, now sidebar right so we'll now fix the sidebar and make it overflow which means it will have its own scroll right so we'll say scroll um, overflow overflow will make it scroll right so now see let me add some data here so this is pretty interesting you can go ahead design any kind of layout we want overflow testing data right so just I'm just adding some junk data to increase the height of this sidebar so we can see a scrolling effect right so that's one uh, let me again make this here right so here I'm going to make this as overflow hyphen um, y is crawl uh, okay so this okay I'll, I'll take a look at it the idea you get it that um, we have to get it the layout first right so for any good design the first and foremost important thing is the layout to get the layout correct like what kind of layout you want to build whether it is two column whether it is three column whether it is four column whatever the column size you need to get that and then start working towards it I hope it's clear um, so we have seen two column layout you have seen three columns you have seen four column I hope after this you will be able to create your own grid layouts at least right and this is not something that you would do in one episode right uh, we still have work to make it responsive we still have to add our nav bar components we will keep working on it design is always iterative remember it's never one shot uh, thing to get it right um, it, it comes only with practice okay so we'll keep improving this I hope you're following I hope you're enjoying learning about the concept of the grid how it works in the next episode we are going to add more components to this make it much more meat to the application and we will also add responsive design to it like for example we will make it work on mobile we will make it work on iPad and large desktop small desktop 
So we'll start customizing, start adding it to make it a real website. I hope you're enjoying. I hope you're learning. If you have any doubts, just drop them in the comment section below. I'll be happy to help you. Thank you so much for joining. See you in the next episode.